folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. Today's lesson is on a particular roof jack design I come up with. It's really cheap and real simple. What is a roof jack? A roof jack is either a temporary form of ground support or a miner over six foot five inches tall. Anyhow, this is a temporary ground support. It's easy to move around, easy to put in place, quite strong. You would use it when you need temporary ground support or quick ground support. For example, if you've taken out a blast and you need to bolt the back, then you want something over your head while you're bolting. As you're drilling holes above you in fresh rock, you want something to hold it there. So, roof jack would be there. Uh, sometimes you use it to hold rock before you get timbering or more permanent ground support. Sometimes you use it to hold a timber while you're replacing other timbers. It's just got a multitude of uses, but essentially whenever you need quick solid ground support, that's what a roof jack is for. Now let me take this apart and show you how it works. Now this is the key to the whole operation here. This little piece is called a pivoting scaffold jack. And this is what it looks like. It's got a big Acme thread, and in this case, the foot has a ball and socket joint. Nowadays, it's usually got a T joint. So it's got a little bit of adjustment there. These go underneath scaffold pipes when they're putting scaffolds around buildings and such. It allows them to adjust the elevation of the base to keep it flat, and the pivot allows them to adjust for any irregularities in the surface. Scaffolding sometimes goes up a long way, holds a lot of weight. They have to have really good support and it's got to be level. This makes it simple. That thread is an inch and a half in diameter. This is a two inch diameter piece of pipe, two inch outside of diameter. This pipe is a little bit bigger than two inches inside diameter. And the inner pipe is cross-drilled on six inch intervals with a little pin here. This allows you to get a lot of adjustment. Each piece is about five feet long, one quarter of a stick of steel, so you can buy a full stick, cut it up yourself, or have them cut it up, what the heck, either way. But it's very inexpensive that way. You want to set your pin to where it's the approximate distance to the back. Take your headboard. Oh, by the way, you need a tow board down here to keep it from sinking into the roadway, <laughs> especially if you got water. And then, and this is a job that's best done with two people because the base likes to turn. secure it in place. You want it perpendicular to the rock so that it doesn't have much of a tendency to slip. The headboard distributes the weight. And that's all there is to it. This piece here, surprisingly cheap. Yesterday I was looking at the internet and it was running uh, you know, 15 to $25 each, average of about 20. You can buy a couple lengths of steel, chop them up into quarters, cross drill the small ones, and in a couple of hours, and for 150 bucks, you can have four of these things. You can cut the, the steel to different lengths depending upon what you need to secure, what the height or the width of the, the ground you're dealing with is. But it's a very inexpensive and simple method of getting good temporary ground support. Keep the rock off your head where you do not want it. So that's the scaffold jack, roof jack. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.